All right, so we're gonna show you how to tighten up the buffer tube on the scatter gun series, the Reaper TS, uh, regular TS, SPX, any of the ones with an M4 stock. This also could apply to your Tokyo Marui ones with the angry gun kit or anything with a buffer tube. Uh, there's a couple places where there could be a leak induced if things get loose. Uh, nothing mechanically wrong with that, just tighten up every now and then. It'll happen no matter what as you play and get rough and tough with the gun, so this is just part of the maintenance process. So let's get started. Tools you'll need, you'll first need a AR-15 buffer tube wrench. Can't live without it. Second thing you'll need is either a pair of needle nose pliers or the specific little slotted wrench for the scatter gun. We don't sell these separately, so um, I don't think you'll find this. More likely you'll use one of these. That's what I use when I'm in a pinch. Set of Allen keys. I forgot how many millimeters this is, but probably four or five, but you should have a set no matter what in metric. And a Phillips head screwdriver. All right, <clears throat> got a scatter gun here. The customer said he had a leak there uh, where when he pressed the gun against his shoulder, it started to leak. So one point it could leak here is this junction where the uh, extension matches the receiver. If you see any wobbles, probably got loose. This one's been used a little bit, so you'll see that it gets loose. This could induce a leak, even if not right away. You should always be on top of tightening things down. Another area to check would be the junction between the extension here and the buffer tube. There's an O-ring here. And then lastly, an O-ring in the back here that creates like a little cylinder. So we'll show you how to tighten all three. Take our AR wrench and use the side for the castle nut. This is the AR castle nut here. So you're looking for the slots. Make sure they line up before you start cranking. Lefty Lucy. This will take it apart. <clears throat> All right, so we unscrew that. This little indexing plate here, you just push it back so it clears that so you can start loosening the whole tube. The whole tube is lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, and you'll start to see that O-ring. If this O-ring is damaged, then you'll probably want to replace that. That is the source of a leak on a gas gun. <clears throat> so you have this apart. You'll see in here, there's a little like uh, a bolt. It'll be hard to see, but she's in there. Take your Allen key, and then you're gonna tighten it. <clears throat> Hand tightens enough. This one seems to be a little loose, so a little quarter turn, and now it's not gonna flex anymore. So that's that takes care of one seal. The second seal would be over here again that I just showed you. Uh, since you already have it apart, you can inspect it when you put it back together again. That's when you can tighten it. Valve notwithstanding, if there's a leak there, you can just replace the valve, obviously. All right, tighten this up to about where the O-ring sits and then slide your indexing plate into there. And then as you tighten the castle nut, that'll push that O-ring in a little bit tighter. All right, so I'm hand tightening first, then I'll use the tool, make sure the teeth line up. Give that a couple turns, you'll see this kind of start to look a little flush as everything's getting tighter there, so that's a good thing. Lastly, there's an O-ring inside here, and you're gonna take off this little uh, vanity plate thingy. It's two Phillips screws, one's long, one's short. All right, so you'll see here, it's got a couple holes here. The center was for the Phillips head screw, and this hole is for the Phillips head screw. These two are the slots that you're going to use your needle nose on, which you will do righty-tighty, lefty-loosey again. So like this, you're going to gently turn it. You might scratch it in the process, oh well. Just be extra careful, and it's good. Pro tip, if this looks flush, probably not tight enough, just crank it a little bit more and you're good to go. Alternately, the wrench. This is off of the Nemesis Arms Vanquish. It just happened to fit. We don't sell it separately, sadly. Same deal. Just get a little bit better leverage, but you don't have to tighten it super, super crazy. There is an O-ring, it's kind of compressing. And now you've taken care of a potential leak in this system. So this is the Reaper TS, standard TS, the SPX series, any of the ones with the M4 stock. And again, 
um, those conversions for the Marui system that uses the angry gun kit or a similar type of buffer tube system where the gas is held by gas is held inside here you're gonna do the same kind of maintenance so very simple to do uh, if it starts leaking here you just got to tighten it every now and then okay